So the point of this video is to launch right into a demonstration of how my Chromecast Vintage TV works. So let me spin this thing around. You can see everything is self-contained in this TV. There's no adapters puking out of the back, which you need several of them to really get HDMI video going into something like this. And you can see it's just simply plugged right into the wall. So very easy to move around, not cumbersome and not ugly to look at with cables and all sorts of extra plugs for adapters. Ah, everything's just conveniently in there. And it's not really pretty as you're, if you, if you really want to see in the other video, it's going to be pretty ugly. But, um, okay, so let's get right into it. Now, this TV does not turn on the normal way anymore. It's in an automatic mode. That's what I'm using to do that. So let's get into it. I'm going to play a video here. Welcome to LGR Oddware, where we're taking a look at hardware and software that is go ahead and hit this little cast and icon obsolete. here. And today, and I'm presented I'm with a menu. Talk about the Sending the video to the red TV at this point. Now let's just wait a few seconds, and uh, you're gonna hear the TV power on. Ha. There we go. I fooled for a second there, didn't I? Probably These not. old TVs, I that, that is literally a vacuum out. tube, and yeah, it takes about, about 15 sort of. seconds to turn on. Really? And then I want to warn you, when it turns on, it's going to need a few more seconds for the colors to all come together. Now I have to close the iris. Let me show you right now, it's a little bit louder than I thought. I'm going to go ahead and lower the volume by just using the volume on my phone. Uh, so there you go. That's how you use this TV. This is your remote control. You can play. You can... Well, you can you can pause. Okay, that's what I was trying to say. I was trying. You pause. You can play. You can move around in the video. I'll go ahead and restart the video. And uh, very simple. Works with Netflix. Works with Hulu. Works with a whole host of other things. So this TV actually has a second function, and that's to be an audio streaming device. So by plugging in an auxiliary cord to the back of it, I've put a little jack right here. It's a stereo output from the Chromecast. So I'm going to use some music that my brother made here, as it's not uh, going to give me any copyright problems. Actually, let me turn down the stereo. And there's the audio there. Now let me turn up the stereo here. turn the TV completely off because the Chromecast stays live and you can do all the same stuff like lower the volume you don't have to have the phone on or the screen on here's how Google Play Music shows artwork and it's perfect for watching music videos. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate the automatic shutdown. So as soon as I stop casting here, and silence begins, I'll start the timer and the TV will shut down in about five minutes. So there you go, five minutes right on the dot, fully automatic. So that's it, it's a self-contained little unit. Oh, and one other thing too, let me just, uh, let me just say, this is not, uh, I'm not trying to be some crazy hipster by doing something like this. Uh, either you're gonna get why you'd wanna do something like this, or you don't. And I, I just wanna say, for me, I found this thing in a trash pile, and I just, I had a soft spot in my heart for it because this is like the TV that I remember as a, as a, as a kid growing up in the 80s. This is the kind of thing I watched my cartoons on and uh, DuckTales later on it, it, after school or Tailspin, and I just, it looked very much like a TV I had. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I just I thought it should live a little bit longer than uh, just being smashed into oblivion for I don't know what you can get out of this it's mainly plastic and glass so yeah 
I'm glad that I put this together. It's, uh, it's certainly something that's proved itself to be a valid device to keep around in my house. And uh, yeah, we enjoy using it. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the project. And once again, if you wanna see more information on this thing, uh, go ahead and check in the description where you can find the full version. I'll take it apart. I will ramble on about why I did certain things or didn't do certain things. I'll tell you more about why I didn't put the HDMI input on the back. Because so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.